The SSCP exam changed on November 1st, 2021. Are you ready for the new exam? Hi, I'm Mike Chappell. I'm a cybersecurity certification expert and the creator of a variety of SSCP study resources, including the official SSCP practice tests. I've been working with this certification for decades, and I'm going to fill you in on what's changing with the updated exam. I'll walk you through each one of the seven domains and help you understand what's new, and then I'll give you an important update on the way the exam software recently changed. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because that change will definitely affect your test taking strategy. First, let's talk about what's staying the same. The seven domains of the SSCP exam aren't changing. Okay, well that isn't exactly true. The seven domains haven't changed, but they've been shuffled around a little bit. ISC squared swapped the order of the first two domains, so domain one is now security operations and administration, and domain two is access controls. The other five domains remain exactly the same. Risk identification, monitoring and analysis, incident response and recovery, cryptography, network and communication security, and systems and application security. The weightings of the domains have also changed, but only slightly. This table gives you a quick look at the details, but these changes are pretty minor. They've just changed a few percentage points here or there. When you're dealing with an exam that's 125 questions long, we're talking about just a shift of a few questions between domains. Nothing that's going to change your study plans. Now, just because the weightings haven't changed much doesn't mean that the exam itself hasn't changed. As with each three-year revision cycle, ISC Squared has updated the content on the exam to ensure that it remains relevant to the life of today's cybersecurity professional. They've outlined those changes in this 12-page exam outline. Now, it's a tedious read, but I've taken the time to go through this line by line and look for important changes so that you don't have to. ISC Squared made a bunch of changes to the numbering and placement of exam objectives. I'm not going to bore you with those. Instead, I'm going to focus on what's new and important as you prepare for the new SSCP exam. Let's talk about each one of the seven domains. Domain one, security operations and administration, remains mostly the same. You must now be familiar with techniques used to assess compliance with security controls, and ISC Squared also added some details to the asset management lifecycle. It requires that you understand roles, responsibilities, and processes around change management and the use of configuration management in enterprise security. Now, Domain 2, Access Controls, has a bunch of new topics, including some specific technologies that you'll need to understand for the test. You'll need to know about Active Directory Federation services, OpenID Connect, OAuth 2, and the Security Assertion Markup Language. You'll also need to understand the roles of intranets, extranets, and the internet, and the use of zero-trust network architectures. Finally, rule-based access control systems are now covered on the SSCP exam. Domain 3, Risk Identification, Monitoring, and Analysis also adds some new material. You'll now need to understand the role that indicators of compromise play in threat intelligence programs, and how organizations determine their risk tolerance or risk appetite. You'll need to understand the vulnerability management lifecycle and how to conduct internal, supplier, and architecture-based risk reviews. Finally, there are some details added to continuous monitoring, including new source systems and the aggregation and correlation of security events. This domain is definitely an area where you'll want to study up. And that brings up a good point. There is a lot of material covered on the SSCP exam, and you don't need to tackle it alone. I prepared a free study group that will walk you through the exam preparation process using a combination of free and inexpensive books, practice tests, and video courses. Visit my website at certmike.com and sign up for my free SSCP study group to learn more. And while you're at it, if you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button below to help other people discover it. Now, Domain 4, Incident Response and Recovery, is mostly the same. ISC Squared added material on the NIST and ISO incident response processes, how to report the results of forensic investigations, 
and a reminder that crisis management efforts should include plans for responding to natural disasters and pandemics. Domain 5, cryptography, also hasn't changed very much. You'll find new material on the PCI DSS and ISO encryption guidance, and new technologies including quantum computing and blockchain. Domain 6, Network and Communication Security, includes the most new material of any of the seven domains. You'll find new exam questions on software-defined networking, the use of content delivery networks, or CDNs, to block DDoS attacks, and the use of firewall zones and micro-segmentation. You'll also find coverage of web application firewalls. Domain 6 also includes new wireless topics, including the use of wireless authentication and encryption protocols, cellular technology, and the Internet of Things, or IoT. Domain 7, Systems and Application Security, includes a few new topics. You'll need to know about fileless viruses and how Advanced Persistent Threats, or APTs, exploit zero-day vulnerabilities. You'll also need to understand web-based attacks and the use of social engineering techniques. The new SSCP exam also requires a deeper understanding of defensive techniques, including behavior analytics, whole disk encryption, endpoint detection and response, and mobile application management. And that's it. That's a full rundown of the important changes in the new SSCP exam, effective November 2021 through November 2024. Now, a lot of people considering taking the exam ask me the same question. Can I continue to prepare using the older exam materials that I already have? The good news is that you can. In fact, if you're taking the exam in November or December 2021, you're going to have to do so. Just make sure that you brush up on the new topics. Let me share some important release dates with you so that you'll know when new materials will be available. First, my SSCP Last Minute Review Guide, available at the certmic.com website, is already updated with a new material. If you've prepared using 2018 resources, you can get the Last Minute Review Guide now and use it to make sure that you're ready for the 2021 exam. My LinkedIn Learning courses are updating throughout November and December. I've already recorded them all, but they're working their way through the editing process. Watch to see them released on the site through the end of 2021. My official practice tests book will be coming out on December 2nd, 2021, and the official study guide will be available in January 2022. Now, one last thing that's very important as you prepare for the exam. ISC Squared made a major change to the SSCP testing software this year. In the past, you were able to skip around on the exam, going back to revisit questions that you answered earlier. That option no longer exists. You must answer each question on the exam before moving on to the next question, and you can't go back and revisit previous questions. So be careful when you take the exam. You only get one shot at each question. That's it for this review of the changes to the SSCP exam beginning in 2021. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel for more cybersecurity content.